Okay. Hi, everyone. Um, I am <laughs> I'm having so much fun today. First of all, I am like not cleaning my office, which is what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, but instead, I am practicing my um, scrying techniques, which, um, oh, cute. You can see like uh, me right there in the crystal ball reflected back. <laughs> so um, Saturday, October 26th, I'm teaching an all-day workshop with Uma and uh, of Lotus Wellness Center and Rob, um, her partner, and Mary Phelan. I'm pretty excited about that because it's all about connecting with spirit in direct communication. And I said, ooh, let me do scrying. Because like I grew up, my grandmother taught me how to do crystal ball gazing. And um, I grew up learning dowsing because I grew up in the country and that's something you do there a lot. Uh, so I've been practicing with my crystal ball and I'm going to bring this to the class. Um, and just to let you know, the basics of scrying with a crystal ball um, is you let yourself look into the ball, of course, clear yourself out, open yourself up, put your question out there or whatever connection you're making and look into your ball and just like space out and open up. Visions come in. I mean, sometimes they come in the ball, which is crazy. Like you're looking in the ball and you literally are seeing like a movie playing out or messages will rise up. Or for me, a lot of times they come in directly. Um, I also have I love this. This is like really great for connecting with um, questions of the heart or uh, connecting with like loved ones who have passed or past lives. And again, that's all questions of the heart. But <laughs> this is my Tesla ball. I love this so much. I know it's like my little toy, but this is great for like interdimensional portal messages. It is so much fun. First of all, it's fun. But secondly, I don't know if you've ever had like a dream where you're, um, in a place where there's all these like like you're in a tube of energy and you're going and then you dump out someplace and you're like i don't know where i am it might be another dimension or something or you're in a place where like you're walking around and it's all of these tubes but they're like at the bottom they're wide and then they go up and then you see they all like go up there and um and you're walking around and you can go into the tube and then it takes you through those tunnels to who knows where. Sort of like, uh, what is it? Not the Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. Um, the Magician's Nephew, the Land Between Worlds. So um, it's a little bit like that, only there it's a forest and they jump into puddles. So this Tesla ball is so good at connecting with other dimensions and stepping out of our 3D frequency and into like a 5D frequency and getting messages from, like if you're going to scry from beings that don't work in this dimension or the 3D world frequency we have, look at that. <laughs> so we're gonna be doing some of this. I'm so excited. It always freaks me out. <laughs> like, it gets hot when you hold your hand up too long and you get an energy build. I'm just waiting. For, like, you guys know how I am with electronics. I'm just waiting someday to touch this and have it blow up on me. No, I know you're not going to do that. Um, I also want to talk to you about like 
scrying with crystals because uh, the crystals that grow from Earth. Um, hold on. Like, here's a beautiful piece of amethyst that um, uh, the shamanist Azare Windwalker just gave me to place in a sacred place that I'm going on, part of a amethyst grid that she's creating. But um, when you're a beginner, like a clear quartz crystal um, is best where you can see like the crystalline structure inside and the Lemurian seed crystals that have the ridges on the side. Those are great to start with. And you just like gaze at the crystal and you just turn it and rub your finger on it and gaze at it. And I'm telling you, sometimes you get sucked into the crystal and the guardian of the crystal, the, the soul that was this crystal can talk to you. I've had crystals tell me their life story. And then when I come back and I tell like whoever the crystal belongs to what I got, they're like, oh yeah, yes, this was from Bolivia. And oh yes, this uh, it's wild. But um, the other thing is, um, when earth was created representatives from every state of being in every dimension place parts of their culture their beingness in our planet and place them in the crystals which is why while crystals are of earth and grow in earth different crystals are associated with different beings of other dimensions or frequencies so we're going to talk about all this on Saturday. If you can't join us, you know, I'm sorry, but, you know, maybe I'll start playing with this stuff online. Uh, if you have any questions, feel welcome to message me because I'm like, I love this stuff. To me, this is like the most fun thing in the world. Like we have these amazing tools of connection, be it, you know, a regular crystal ball, which is super heavy, <laughs> and this like gas-filled Tesla invention, which is like so much fun, crystals and um, pendulums, dousing sticks. Yeah, you know when I was a kid um, on the farm up in Maine, anytime you wanted to like uh, clear land you always got like the neighborhood dousing person to come and let you know like where the water was and where like everything was so that you didn't inadvertently like clear the wrong acre of land. You know, like if you're clearing an acre to for um, pasture, you wanna make sure that it's not too wet and boggy um, or the animals will get sick from being in too much moisture and, and the vegetation will get rotten um, but you don't want it too dry or you have to like bring in water for them. So, you know, and if you're building your house, you want it built on the right area. So for me, dousing and um, pendulum work, like I grew up with this and this is as relevant to me as doing a Google search. So I'm, you know, if you guys have any questions, feel welcome to ask me. I'm not just about like past life connection. You know, there's connection. It's all about connection. Well, anyway, have a great day. I adore you all. Um, I think I'm gonna be back in the area for a while. You know, I've been off hanging out with like shamans and indigenous healers. And, you know, I was at a, a two week silent meditation, but now um, I'm back for a few weeks before I head off again. Take care. Bye. <laughs> I'm trying to get off. Technology is failing me again. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Have a good one. Thank you. Bye.